If you're eating a salad in North America in winter, chances are the main ingredients of that salad came from Yuma or the nearby Imperial Valley. Farming is an industry that thrives in Yuma in part because of a century-plus relationship between area farmers and the University of Arizona's Agricultural Research Center. UA scientists use their experimental farms to improve crops farmers will grow, maximize yields, and head potential pests off at the pass. We're almost like firefighters. To, you just don't know what's going to be uh, up around the corner until it actually happens. So uh, sometimes we're caught off guard. Sometimes we have a little bit of a heads up that certain pests or diseases are headed our way. But in, in many cases, like we are now, the, uh, the pest has suddenly uh, appeared and uh, it's up to the University of Arizona researchers here in the Yuma area to, uh, to come up with a solution because uh, the industry here in the Yuma area anyway um, is a multi-billion dollar industry uh, where 90 to 95 percent of all the winter vegetables uh, are grown in this area and so it's a uh, it's a challenge at times to combat pests when the demand for our produce that are, that's grown here in the Yuma area is so, is so high. The actual growing areas of the research facility are broken into small, specifically targeted plots. We actually have two facilities right here uh, at the Yuma Ag Center. We have a, an, an, a facility that you're visiting right now. This is the Valley Ag Center. This is about 250 acres, uh, all devoted to uh, research, teaching, and extension. We also have a, a facility up on the mesa, as we call it. It's a totally different soil type. Uh, this soil right here is, uh, is very heavy uh, or high in clay. And uh, we have some soil that's up on the mesa that is sandy. And so we have uh, re ongoing research that's devoted to that particular soil type with those crops up there. So the, we have a, a, a alfalfa, we have a citrus uh, in the, at the mesa station. So all told, we have 500 acres uh, uh, of research uh, that's ongoing at the, at both facilities. Right behind us is uh, is a is a field of lettuce seed, and so uh, right here on the uh, University of Arizona Yuma Ag Center, we uh, we grow lettuce seed for uh, production uh, either in California or in Yuma. So so before uh, before we uh, harvest lettuce, we obviously have to plant it. And so uh, we have to get seed to do that. So uh, the, this uh, crop that's behind me was planted in, uh, in July. Uh, lettuce tends to flower when it's uh, hot out. And so July here in the desert means that it's pretty warm in, uh, in outside here. And so the lettuce bolts, they call it, or it sends out a flower inflorescence. And uh, right here is uh, the result of that. We have a, a field of lettuce that is, uh, that is in full bloom. When you drive through the Yuma Agricultural Center, you'll see crops that uh, may not look very good. For example, the crop behind me is a kinalope uh, uh, plot that's, uh, that's infected by a, a virus. This is cucurbit yellow stunting disorder virus. It's a virus that came into the valley in 2007, and uh, myself and Dr. John Palumbo and others in our system have been working on this problem for a number of years. This is a this is a, a virus that is uh, uh, vectored by a white fly insect pest, and the white fly insect pest uh, uh, bites or, or starts chewing on the uh, leaves of the cantaloupe and uh, in, in, in injects a virus into the, uh, into the plant, which causes this. And so there's ongoing research in areas that uh, involve uh, plant diseases, including this one here at the Yuma Agricultural Center. So behind me is a, uh, is a collection of tubes uh, there are some uh, 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 valves and all kinds of things. Uh, all of this is focused on delivering uh, plant protection products, uh, managing the white fly, managing the disease in a uh, very innovative and sophisticated form of, uh, of way. So uh, instead of uh, uh, running a trial, as we say, uh, over the course of, a, of an entire acre, we, we can do these small plot trials to get an, uh, an efficacy test done in a very short uh, duration and a very uh, efficient manner. It's just a matter of uh, um, creating a, an environment in, in the field here to, uh, to do that. And so this uh, manifold that's behind me is a way to direct uh, some of these products to different plots within the field so that we can get a good uh, evaluation of them. Winter production in vegetables uh, is going to remain uh, a mainstay here in the desert southwest. So, so changing uh, our research focus from, say, winter produce to something else 
uh, may not happen. However, within that winter produce, there, there may be different varieties of lettuce that we're going to be evaluating. Uh, the, the pests that are involved in uh, uh, the desert here will be changing and so we have to adapt uh, some of our research to, uh, to uh, control these pests. Uh, fertilizer prices will go up and they have been going up for the last five years and so we'll be uh, working more towards uh, a greater efficiency in uh, for fertilizer application. We know that uh, water uh, and the drought that we're currently experiencing in Arizona will will probably still be around even 10 years from now and so therefore uh, we'll probably be uh, 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 doing more research in the area of water conservation uh, soil uh, conservation uh, greater tillage practices to conserve soil and water and a combination of both